I use it when I text my mom. Every day? Usually a couple times a day, mostly to call people. I'm on it all the time. Every day. I use it all the time. <laughs> Too much. Probably about once a week. Once or twice a week, anyways. Samuel Somering invented the first telegraph in 1809. Samuel Morris then invented Morse code. The first message was sent May 24, 1844. It read, What hath God wrought? Thomas Edison improved the telegraph by creating the first duplex two-way telegraph in 1870. The telegraph improved even more by turning into the first coin telephone which was installed in Hartford in 1900. To build on that, in 1931, the teleprinter service was installed to make this invention more useful. They laid the transatlantic telephone cables so that calls could be made to European countries in 1957. In July 1962, Telestar, the world's first international communication satellite, was rocketed into orbit. Motorola then created the first cellular phone in 1972. Coming up to the present in 2002, the first phones with LCD screens and the first smartphones were introduced into the public. I get client calls and I can um, keep my schedule on my phone. I also take payments for massages on my cell phone. Present day uses for the new cell phones, also referred to as smartphones, range from social use to business use. Many people use these new phones to research things on the internet and use social networking sites. Some of the most recent cell phones have 4G, which is the fastest internet a phone can have. Some other uses for mobile phones are to communicate with friends and family and also for safety purposes. It's very important. Um, it's a safety uh, factor. We take phones into um, our home visits. Um, we're out in the field quite a bit and it's a way of being safe. It's a safety mechanism for us. Um, it also allows us, if someone's not answering their door, to call them to see if they're at home. So it enables us to get our job done. A benefit of cell phones is that small businesses can communicate with coworkers and other businesses as well as customers. Face-to-face -face communication is becoming less and less. We have seen people sitting at the same table and instead of talking, they are on their phones. We have also noticed that the age for getting your first cell phone is getting younger. Also, as these phones progress, the cost keeps getting higher. Most teenagers spend most of their time texting. Face-to-face -face communication seems to be less important. They will finish their message before answering your question. I have seen people out on dates or in a group and no one is talking to each other because everyone is messing around on their phones. They'll either get bigger and they'll be more tablet oriented or they will, <laughs> I don't know, I can't even imagine where they'll go from here, but larger is, is what I'm thinking. they will be more, like I said, up like a phablet phone and a tablet, so. I think you'll be able to determine the size of your phone. Like, you know how you pinch in on the screen to zoom in? Mm -hmm. I think you'll be able to spread your phone out to get whatever size you want. I think they're going to get a little bit smaller, probably thinner, with the whole, like, touchscreen thing. In 10 years, there will be service in every part of the United States, including rural areas. In 20 years, the data on phones will come up in holographic screens. In 30 years, phones will be like bracelets. They will wrap around your wrist, and when you take them off, they will become straight and holographic keyboards. In 40 years, talking in person will be less to none. People will have such highly upgraded phones that it will be seen as pointless. In 50 years, we will be able to choose how big we want our phones by stretching it out the same way you zoom in on a screen. Also, the lack of communication would start to take its toll on society. In the year 2063, we hope that face-to-face -face communication increases. People will always need to talk to family, friends, and other people. How could a family be created around a small device that speaks for you or that reads your mind? How can you make friends when all you do is hide behind a screen? We can't continue to hide behind a phone that communicates for us. After all, you have to speak for yourself.